Six people from the full team are in Malmo today. The question is, why? We have both Blossom Blast and, and Puzzle being in production here in Malmo, so it makes sense for us to come down often and support the teams here. Any, any secrets to share with the rest of King? Like, how comes two months until the release, no crunch, no, no pressure, while still adding the features? I mean, it's been a been a rocky road for a while trying to figure out exactly what the core of this game was but once we nailed that core loop and really knew what it was we were building it was easy from that point forward so yeah we're adding in major features right now but it's all all built around a really strong kernel your team doesn't look stressed like oh hard launch no props that's fine it's like but hard, I mean, it, it, it is hard and it is launch. It is it be hard because that's how it's called. It's hard, and you're like, it's fine. But we're chill. The like, just take it as it comes. Um, we're again, we're a very chill team and very happy to with the people that I work yeah, with. But are you so calm and confident because nothing broken? Because you're not in crunch or because like it. It's it a little all bit of everything. Is working like as desired, as planned. And I mean, nothing ever works as planned. There's <laughs> always a YOLO merge or two that will break the build, but I think it's a combination of having really good people and also we trust each other a lot. I mean, yeah. Default is quite a different engine uh, three years ago from what it used to be. Oh, yeah. So oh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's been nice to see that the game and the, it has improved as, the, as the, uh, the engine also has improved. All of the new features in Default have really helped us to polish the game and get into a, to a nicer state, I, I think. I mean, l let's be honest, you just tell us what to do and then we <laughs> adhere our roadmap to your roadmap and then what, what you need in the game actually we do in the editor and the engine. So yeah. it's, it's, it's not that by accident suddenly <laughs> whatever we release is relevant to you. It's, it's like you tell us what to do. So. <laughs> yeah, and that has really helped us. One of the things that uh, often happens when we go down here is something that's a very small fix to, to implement might just get done on the day while we're down here because someone like just approached us with, oh, this is something that's really important. During the, the sync meeting, Einar in the Blossom team brought up that, okay, every, every time I start the editor and start searching for files, I need to fill in the filter. So I won't only want to search Lua files and script files. I don't want to search JSON files. And he has to do that every day when he starts the editor. So the editor doesn't remember the preference. Everyone said, uh, hmm, okay, that's not good. It's probably not a, not a huge th thing to fix. And then an hour later, Matt says, okay, I've pushed it. It's ready. The thing is, I mean, our players are really hardcore. I, I know it's it's funny, but like when you when you think of casual mobile games, you don't think of hardcore gamers. Mm -hmm. But then we get people. So we're releasing. You know, we our build is live in the App Store, like the actual App Store, and we get people in France and stuff commenting like, "Why are there no more than 580 levels? I've already beat them all." And it's you know two weeks since we released or whatever. It is really amazing. Like the, the people that are playing our games are quite often much better at them than we are.